Hey guys, make sure you stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, you may end up spending hundreds, even thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Make sure you stand till the end. We will explain what we are talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Warren Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Tahoe or Suburban that generation right here from year 2006 to year 2014. If you have one of those, if you need to find where the blower motor fan uh, fuse is located, which fuse you need to check, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time. And why it's important guys to always test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stand till the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have a Chevy Tahoe or Suburban, practically they are built on the same platform. We'll be making a video about every single fuse relay in that SUV. Why? Because let's say you're down the road, you need to find where the fuse for fuel injectors, fuel pump, ignition coils is located. That way you can fix your SUV and be back on the road. We will have that information. You'll just spend a minute or two watching the video, fix it and it will take care of that problem. Now, every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them guys completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmissions, mechanical, body work, and we have more than 12,000 free repairs on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. In addition, guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools, fuses, relays at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time, we will put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience. So let's start on it now. So the blower motor fan fuse, where you can expect to find it, we will demonstrate on that generation Chevy Tahoe right here, Chevy Suburban, practically is the same vehicle, just longer, built on the same platform. Now, you guys have three different fuse boxes and today we work in just one, that fuse box is under the hood. So if you go ahead, pop the hood open, facing the engine on the right side, you have a fuse box under this cover here, go ahead, open it. You will find the main engine fuse box layout that will look like this one here. So if we zoom in a little bit, before we continue guys, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. So now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse right but uh, it could be guys a bad fuse sometimes it's really hard to tell it's hard to see you have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad you may end up spending time money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need so always test fuses it takes only uh, a few seconds we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how how to test relays as well. Relays are easy to test, uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys. So check out the links will be in the description of the video below. So now the blower motor fan fuse guys, we're going to zoom in a little bit. Now let's explain, this is towards the front of your Chevy Tahoe Suburban, this is the windshield side, passenger side, driver side. Here if we zoom in guys towards the front, the fuse that we need to check for the blower motor fan, it's known as fuse number 17, we're talking about this 40M fuse guys, okay, right here that you will need to check, that's the fuse guys for the blower motor fan, if you have any questions don't hesitate to let us know, thank you for watching, see you next time.